This is how to create a scatter plot using the TI Inspire calculator. I'm on section 2.4 of the workbook. Um, it's the second page. Once you get to 2.4, the second or third page after you see section 2.4, and it's how to construct a scatter plot using the TI Inspire. So the first thing we want to do is enter in our data. So we're going to first go to Documents New and add a list spreadsheet number four. So I'm going to label my first list as L1. You can also label this the X axis if you want to. And I'm going to put in here X axis just as a little extra. Uh, I don't think it's let me do that. Cannot accept change. Okay, so it won't let me do that. So we're just going to label it L1. Hit enter. And the B list will be L2, L2. Uh, the data is there in the workbook, or you can just enter the data I'm about to do. And my data is six, two, 15, nine, 12, five and eight. And in the workbook, this is called the number of absences. And uh, the second list L2 is final grade in percentages. 82, 86, don't put the percent symbol. 43, 74, 58, 90, and 78. Okay, so we have all our data entered in. And if you want, you can save this. Uh, I'm going to save this data that I entered and just label it 5.4. I mean, you don't have to save this. I'm going to save it really quick. The save button is here. So it's control, save, and I'm just going to list it data. From five point from two point four, sorry, from section two point four. So that's all I'm going to label the data. I hit enter, and now if you notice, uh, you'll see this is I'm working on section two point four, and it's labeled up here. All right, now that I have my data, I want to create my scatter plot. To do that, we have to create a new page. If you look right above the documents, there's a plus page. So, and it plus page is in blue. So we're going to hit control document, which is plus page. And then we're going to add number five, add data and statistics. So we're adding, we're doing number five. And you, you should get a graph that looks like this. Now, this is not the final answer. We have to label our X and Y axis. So our X axis is down here. If you look, it says click to enter. Uh, if I click it, it says we want our L1 to be our X variable, list one, X variable. And over here, it says click to add variable. If I click it, I'm going to put L2. And now we have our scatter plot. This is how we created the scatter plot. We have our data. We hit, and I'm going to create one more page for us. Control document, adding a new page, number five. We get the data all scattered here. Down here, we're going to label this the x axis L1. On the y axis, we're going to, that's going to be our data from L2. And if you see, uh, there should be a a dot at two, this, this kind of looks like 87. And if we go back to our data, there's a 286. So uh, that's correct. 
you see this, so this data here, this point is X2, Y86. Uh, this one right here looks five and like 91. Is there a five? Uh, 91, yes, there is, 591. Okay, so that's how you add a scatter plot. Using the TI Inspire calculator.